Hi, I'm Jeremy. Recently I bought a Fire Emblem Fates and I am very impressed with the game so far. I'm a big time fan of the series and this one is no exception. However, I'm not at all impressed with the convoluted way that you have to go about to acquire both versions, both Birthright and Conquest, in the way you're supposed to, the way that lets you have them both running on the same cartridge, and the way that saves you $20. So, I haven't even had an easy time online finding solutions to this. Everyone seemed to say something different, everyone seemed to have a way that just wasn't working when I tried it. Anyway, here's my little tutorial for you so that you know how to get both versions and you don't end up wasting 20 extra dollars or a bunch of extra disk space on your micro SD card. So anyway, start up the game, and first I should tell you, whatever you do, do not buy two physical copies, oh, I mean, by that I mean one physical copy of each version, and do not buy both from the eShop. What we're going to be doing is getting one the traditional way and activating the other in-game. And if you got a bundle from a retailer that gave you a download code, do not activate the download code in the eShop. Your email will tell you to, in whatever the instructions they give you with the code will tell you to, but that's not actually what you're supposed to do. I got the GameStop bundle with the code to activate um, Conquest, and the email told me go to the eShop and uh, go to activate a project, uh, product and put the download code. That's not what you're supposed to do. You have to do it in-game. So, completely ignore that email or whatever instructions you received. Anyway, here's the game. Title screen. Uh, new, oh, I have a notification. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Here we go. You can see here. Explore Fates. Everywhere online said that that option isn't available until you clear Chapter 6. That's not actually true. I don't know if that was something with the original version and that I just have a new update that has it available from the beginning, but... Yes, Explore Fates is available from the beginning, and every tutorial or advice forum, whatever you look for online, will tell you to get the other version, you do it through Explore Fates. Again, that's not really the way to go. You can, but as you can see, it says Purchase, Birthright, Purchase, Conquest, and Purchase Revelations. For Revelations, you will do it through here if you want Revelations. Um, however, uh, that's the only way I know how to do it here, but for Birthright or Conquest, you can do it through here. If you have, don't have the download code, you can purchase it through here, but that's really not the best way to go about it, that I, in my opinion. And also, if you do have a download code, you can't activate it in Explore Fates at all, which makes no sense to me, and I really don't understand what Nintendo was thinking when they didn't give you that option. But that's the way it is, so we have to do it a more complicated way, so get out of that. I'll show you when I go to continue. Yes, from a save. As you can see here, I have three files. One of chapter six, which is completely neutral, no colors, and then ch two chapter sevens. This is for Nor, and this one is for Hoshido. As you can see, I have all three running on the same cartridge and the same uh, file select screen. So, what you want to do is Regardless of which version you have, whether it's the physical copy or the digital copy, the one that you paid full price for, the one that you have the traditional way, the, the copy that you have, just start playing it. Don't worry, chapters 1 through 5 are identical in both versions, regardless of which uh, path you're going to choose. So, play through those, they're, they're pretty short and easy. The only one that might give you trouble is chapter 5. Um, my advice for that is, don't get Rinka involved at all, she'll just get herself killed, and... Uh, get Kaze to take out the guy on the right, and have Sakura and Azura heal and sing to Korin, but don't get them involved in any actual fighting, because they'll probably die too. Uh, take out all the minions. Meanwhile, Ryoma is going to be fighting the boss. Don't worry, if Ryoma dies, he won't actually die, die. He'll just retreat, and he'll still be for the, there for the rest of the game, and he probably will die. It's just it's a matter of probability, but the odds are stacked against him. Once you get all the minions out of the way, go forward with Corrin and kill the boss. Also note that um, even though the game warns you to not let Corrin get attacked by the enemies carrying Worm Slayers, 
Corrin can actually survive one attack from the Worm Slayers. Only one, but it shouldn't matter much because all the other enemies can barely touch Corrin. They don't do hard, they'll either do one damage or no damage. So you probably will have to let Corrin take one hit from Worm Slayer, heal him, take up other guys, uh, move forward, kill the boss. Then this is where things get weird. Chapter 6. I'm going to load up Chapter 6. Also, make sure that you save after Chapter 5. Very important. You want Chapter 6 to be its own save so that you don't have to replay anything again. You don't want to have to make things complicated to get both versions. I'm going to load it up. So, the path is yours. That's going to change. This is where things change. This is where you make decisions. Anyway, so there's cutscenes here. You're not hurt, are you? I've already gone through these, so I'm just going to skip it, but... Cool part of the story. Oh, another cutscene. Very nice this cinematic. Way. This is the one they showed in all the trailers, but I'm going to skip that too because I've already seen it. Here's where the choice comes in. There's Corin, my family. Now, you have two options. Defend Hoshido, fight with Noor. Defending Hoshido, that's the path for birthright. Fight with Noor, that's the path for conquest. Now, what you have to do is, if you don't have a download code from a retailer if you're now wanting it also if you didn't purchase it through the explore fates option if you're now going to buy the version you don't have click on that one if you have the if you already have birthright and you want to buy conquest click fight with nor if you already have conquest and you want to buy birthright click defend Toshido. it will then bring you to a screen where you put in your payment information and that will take care of that but, if you have a download code from a retailer, what you're instead going to do is choose the version that you have and start playing. Even if that's not the, the path that you want to play through first, you have to pick that first. Because otherwise, when you go to pick the, the one that you don't have on your system, it's going to bring you to the payment screen with nowhere to put in the download code. And if you say... Uh, if you say cancel, if you don't put in the payment information, it'll just bring you back to the title screen and you'll be locked in that forever until you fork over your cash. So, since I already went through with this, I'm going to show you what to do if you have the download code. It's not letting me press back. Well, hold on a second, I just need to close out of this. And then go back to the title screen and figure things out. Oh look, it's the Sonic thing. Anyway. I'm opening the game up again, so I can show you my other file where everything's all set. And, yeah, notification, whatever, continue, and save, and I'll load up uh, my uh, Hoshido file just to show you. Okay. Oh, there's new DLC available. Great, I'm not going to buy it. Um, so, this is where you will end up after you complete Chapter 6. Whereas the version you're in, it'll look slightly different for Hoshido and Nor, but this is where you're going to end up. You have, it's kind of like a hub world. This is your castle, it's customizable, it's a pretty cool new feature in the game. And, as you might see online, the place to activate a DLC and redeem codes is at the, Dragon, uh, the Dragon's Gate shop. Which you would think would be in here, but it's not actually in your My Castle area. There's a bunch of other buildings you can do stuff in, but there is not the Dragon's Gate shop. What you're going to want to do is walk all the way down to the bottom, or to either the left or right edge, anywhere that's going to get you out of here, and click Go Out. Now you're on the world map, which is different from your castle place. You can change the game's difficulty, you can... Just proceed in the chapters, you can scout units, and do challenges, but, I mean, scout for missions and do challenges only in the Hoshido version, in the Nora version, you can't grind like that. Um, anyway, that's not what we're worried about. Click on Dragon's Gate. This is where you play DLC and purchase DLC. This is what confused me at first, because I didn't think that the other version of the game, Conquest, was counted as DLC. I thought that just counted as the game. But that this is the way they had you go through. This weird in-game shop is the only way to activate your uh, download code from your re retailer to get the other version. So click on Purchase DLC. And now it's going to uh, start showing something on the touchscreen. Yeah, so I'm going to click OK. 
No, enter download code. It's loading. Signing in to my non-Nintendo ID, whatever. Pairing and all that. Yes, here is where you put in the download code. Whatever it was, whatever you got in your email, from whatever retailer, all that jazz. Now, if you didn't have the download code, this is not where you purchase the other version. That you either have to do in Explore Fates or on the choice menu in Chapter 6, like I told you. But if you've made it this far, then you probably are, you probably do have a download code. This is where you do it. And then that's it. Um, the download only takes um, eight, about 800 blocks, which is like nothing. Because since it's, you're running the game off of one cartridge, but the download is really just kind of the, the groundwork for how to load the other version of the game. They don't really count as separate games once you have them both. They're all going to run them off of one cartridge, which also means you can't really share with your friends one version of the game because you have them both on the same cartridge. They've really just merged into one game now. But through that, it's much easier to load them both. You save $20, you save a bunch of disk, uh, disk space, and also there, I've heard that you, there's some shared content between the games like support logs and such. So that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. I hope I wasn't too confusing with my explanation. If you are confused about anything, ask in the comments. I'll try to explain it better. Um, that's all. Enjoy the game. It's a great game. Fire Emblem is a great series. Signing out, see ya.